Wolverhampton, of course. It's the Tatling's last ever race course appearance. He runs from a less than ideal stall in stall 11, but all the best uh, to him. Richard Kingscote, the man on board. The Tatling's final race course start, 176 races. And, uh, well, we certainly wish him well. We hope he comes back safe and sound. I thought Dorothy's dancing had a good each-way chance here. And, of course, Grant Stitch, if he can re reproduce his recent form here, he'll be hard to beat. Here's Stuart. Set. And they're off for the tattling swan song over five furlongs. The old boy, a little slow to gather stride, as he invariably is. Right car was another one who missed it. Grand stitch the noseband away well. Leads them through the first furlong from Mosa Mine in a pale blue jacket into country, the orange cap. Uh, chased by a wandering lad in a purple jacket. Nova Bridge up the fence. Dorothy's dancing. White cap wider out and deeper still to Mora Maloki. Then Francis Albert from Younger Borough and Amir in a black jacket. Racing alongside the tattling with the pale sleeves and cap. Memphis man and right car, the final two. Briskly to halfway and it's Grand Stitch by some uh, three lengths, being chased by Mosa Mine in Deer Country, Nova Bridge. Then Dorothy's dancing as Grand Stitch really pointing a toe at the top of the straight, some four or five lengths clear. Mosa Mine chasing hard, Nova Bridge, the yellow jacket running on. Then Wandering Lad, the tattling has gone up into midfield. It's Grand Stitch who still leads and has a handy break on the pursuers. Mosa Mine chasing with Nova Bridge up the fence, Wandering Lad, the old boy, the tattling running on, flying home late in the day. Grand Stitch driven all out, Nova Bridge and the Tatling cutting him back and a line of three as they hit the wire. Nova Bridge up the inner, the old boy on his curtain call, the Tatling forcing a photograph. Grand Stitch right behind him and then most of mine and they trail back to Mora Maloki and into country. Has he done it? Has the Tatling done the unthinkable here? Photo finish officially, but he cut through the pack like the proverbial knife through butter. Liz, uh, Liz Batchelor here, uh, representing Milton Bradley. Well, she just can't crack a smile at the moment. She's not sure, the owner's not sure. Has the tattling won? And uh, what a dream win it's gonna be, if that indeed is the case. I wouldn't like to be the judge, put it this way, at this moment in time. But nothing finishing better than the old boy. Bit of a bunch finish, Grand Stitch, but a really good pace to the race. He was the form horse of the race. He just got worn down in the closing stages. One or two coming out of the pack. Think Nova Bridge in those yellow colours is the other horse uh, involved. Uh, but, of course, uh, we all wait here with uh, bated breath. Has the tattling won it? There was a massive roar went up here in the weighing room here. I was watching the race in the weighing room. They lifted the roof off here, shouting this horse home. Here's the result. Has he won it? He has. He has. The Tatling has won his swan song here at Wolverhampton. This is quite remarkable. And this old, ho old horse has achieved something that I think none of us really truthfully expected here today. He was a big price, round about 16 to 1. He was pitched out wide in stall 11, a difficult place to be. But he's coming back, and I hope he's going to get a rapturous round of applause here in the winner's enclosure. Indeed he is, whether you backed him or backed against him. What a grand old horse he is. The tattling.